Today we're reading about the Chinese environment. Now I'll read off the questions to you. Number one, what mountains are on the top step of China? Two, where did panda bears mostly live in China? Three, what desert is in the middle step of China? Four, when do rivers of eastern China normally flood? And five, what is ginseng used for? I'm going to read this off the uh, Chinese environment. Sometimes people describe China's landscape as being like a staircase with three steps. The top step of the staircase is in the west, where the Himalayan mountains are. India is on the other side of these mountains. Tibet is in this part of China. And Mount Everest is here. It's the world's tallest mountain. People call it the roof of the world. The tops of mountains have snow even in summertime. In winter, the whole area is very cold. It can be as cold as negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. But in the summer, it can get hot, up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Panda bears live mostly in the mountains of southwestern China. Then, in the middle of China, is the second step of the staircase. There are actually still hills, but they are lower and not snowy anymore. Actually, most of the middle part of China is deserts. The most famous is the Gobi Desert. Some of the grassland where you can graze cattle, mostly yaks, but you can't farm. Mongolia is in this part of China. Here too, it gets very cold in the winter and hot in the summer. In eastern China, near the Pacific Ocean, is the bottom step of the staircase. There are long rivers running through this part of China, running down to the Pacific Ocean. The two biggest rivers are the Yangtze and the Yellow Rivers. Most of the people of China live around here, where they get plenty of water for farming. In the northern part, they mostly grow wheat, and in the southern part, they mostly grow rice. In this part of China, which people who live there call the Middle Kingdom, it doesn't get as hot or as cold. But in the spring, when the snow melts in the mountains, these rivers often flood. Northeastern China has lots of forests, and in the forest, there are deer and even reindeer and tigers. In the very southernmost part of China, there is one more kind of climate, which is almost a tropical rainforest or jungle. It's hot and wet there in the summer, and sometimes there are typhoons, tropical, like, tropical storms like hurricanes. Even in winter, it never really gets cold. Ginseng, a plant used for medicine, grows here. There are elephants, wild chickens, leopards, and all sorts of other jungle animals. All right, go and answer those five questions if you would, please.